Hey Monica, this week I wanted to talk to you about things that smell. I was uh, picking up one of my daughters this week and when she got in the car she had a cookie. And I said, oh, you've got a cookie. She said, yes. And then I smelled the cookie and it was a very specific kind of cookie smell. It was the chocolate chip cookie um, that you can buy at the grocery store in bulk that you often have as refreshments after recitals and um, public events of various sorts that are over on the, the snack table in a big box that, that you buy in the bakery. That was the smell. And I was really just enjoying that smell. Just stopped for a moment and just really took it in and just really sat with the smell of the cookie. I didn't really want any cookie. It didn't, like it usually does, drive me straight from, I smell that I'd like to eat it but I was really just immersed in enjoying the way it smelled in the car and just soaking that in, much like slipping into a hot bath. It just, the sensation of the smell was really enjoyable and all I really wanted at that point. It reminded me a lot of how I've been feeling recently as I go to the movie theater and you walk in the door and you can smell the movie theater popcorn and years ago, it just would make me want to buy some, which I think is kind of the point in how they, they work is that they, they waft the smell around and that encourages you to pay the money for the popcorn and then to eat the popcorn. But I didn't really want to eat the popcorn. I just really enjoyed standing in the lobby of the movie theater and smelling the popcorn. It was part of the movie theater experience and it brought a lot of positive emotions with it, and I just really enjoyed the sensory experience of smelling the popcorn. Now, there are certain things that I don't want to smell, and even things that are supposed to smell good, like we have um, a can of Febreze, and it got sprayed recently at our house, and, and immediately it was off-putting and invasive, and I had to hunt down where it came from, and... and um, and air it out, but I'm thinking about those experiences, especially food experiences, and especially smelling experiences, where you don't want to eat it, you just want to smell it. I think maybe coffee might be the same with a lot of people. I know that I don't really want to drink it, but I really like the way it smells. And I'm wondering, what things do you love to smell? What in, uh, sensory experiences do you want to experience only in a smelling way? It's a weird question because that's what I got. I'll talk to you next week.